I don't know, but I have a feeling we might not find any of those paintings on this trip. I'd sure like to see at least one, but they could be up higher. I don't know. There weren't too many clues, and I didn't pay that much attention in their, in their uh, blog about their hike up here. I think a pretty good time, though. I think we'll be out of here before it gets dark. Not a problem. Oh, look at that rock. I think it's probably a fall, isn't it? Stiff wind will blow that right over. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, a lot of the uh, paintings were against a smooth rock like that, but they were on vertical surfaces, naturally. Not out in the open, because they would be washed away by now. Yeah, you know, I seem to remember. There was a little like uh, uh, cave area down here where there's like red ochre. Looks something look like red ochre, and that's actually what the paintings are done with. Some type of red material. How, I bet you that's what they used. We haven't come to that area yet, so we'll check it out when we get there for sure. Yeah, never thought of that. Uh, the hills are just so it's so forbidding. It could be anywhere up there. Feel pretty good about us making decent time. Uh, is that one right there? Yeah, it is, maybe. See that red right there? I think it might be a cave painting. Cave painting. <laughs> yeah, there's another one. That's handprints. Neat. Oh, all right, we found them. Now that I know what I'm looking for, we found them. Oh, real quick. Hope I don't get in trouble showing you guys where they are, but, you know, please don't disturb them. If um, you come up here and look at them yourselves. Look at that. Those are two little handprints. One red and one kind of a orangey red. You can just imagine the people do. I'm not going to touch it, but you know, you can imagine. Pretty small. Look almost like f footprints, but I don't imagine they are. Maybe they are. <laughs> it's neat that they're different colors. Ah, jeez. There's another one here, but you can see it's kind of it's getting washed away. Can't really see what that is. Obviously, there's some up there, but it's getting washed away, too. These are the first ones we saw. And here, let's see what this is all about. Oh, that's a pretty one coming up. All right, that's, um, can't really make it out because it's, the water's washing it away. But look at that one. Somebody wrote numbers in it. It's actually a little disturbing that somebody would do that. Uh, you know, right inside of it, because I guarantee the Indians did not do that. The modern ones. Sure enough, looks like it's in pencil. I can see what looks like a four, maybe an eleven. That's probably something like Tree of Life or something. I would guess. I can take a picture of it, but boy, it's a shame that somebody wrote in pencil on it. I, mean, I could be wrong. It could be charcoal for all I know, but I suspect it isn't. I don't really know. Let me take a couple pictures. We'll keep moving. All right, let's keep rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rawhide. <laughs> For you old timers, older than me even. Well, maybe not actually, because I know what it is. <laughs> so working our way down, and there's some more scat. I don't see any big animal bones chunks in it. But I do see some more uh, pictographs. Yeah, picture. I was getting confused. A lot of them up there, but most of them have been weathered really bad. I'm not going to climb up there, but I'm going to take, I'll take a, like a concentric circle there, maybe. Another one of those, like, trees up there. I'll just take a picture from down here. Nice, nice. I'm glad we, I'm glad we found those. Um, that made this whole trip worth it to me. Now we know why they call it Picture Canyon. <laughs> Before I go, uh, this is where we just looked at the... Uh, no, someone, uh, Tim, carved the name in it. That's why people. That's why people don't like to show where these things are because people, other people, come and do stupid stuff like that. Um, 1937. Tim E. I'm getting closer. I don't know why he had to put his name twice. Tim there and Tim there. Uh, but up there is a little person. I don't know if you can see that one. I kind of missed it when I was first looking. I bet you put. It's really weird when I put my camera on. I look at it through my camera on my phone. 
I mean, I can see it a lot better. It's like really strange. I mean, I can just make it out better. <laughs> I can't believe I missed the Tim. Gosh, what an idiot. Of course, I wasn't looking for it. Just a minute ago, I was afraid it was going to get dark on me, but now that, you know, canyon's opening up again. Yeah, if you look up in there, I think that red stuff is probably what they were using to paint with. They probably took it and ground it up. Pretty neat. We might have gone up there. I think we did actually go up there last time, so we're not gonna do that again. <laughs> not today, anyway. We had about a, ooh, three more hours. We'll be lucky to get out of here. Let's look at this ochre real quick. Hold on. I don't know if this is technically ochre or not. I think it's probably this pigment that they're getting out of there. It looks kind of like it, doesn't it? All right, let's keep moving. Before I forget, I remember reading somewhere on one of my video comments from the last series I did out here where someone said that there's another YouTuber who thinks that they found the M cave out here and I walk right past it. I didn't notice it because it was covered up. And the comments said, although I could not find a link anywhere, the comment said that they had a GoFundMe site set up to collect money so that they could come back out here and dig it out. Well, let me just tell you something. If you're the people that have GoFundMe, that's a felony. You can't come out here on this type of ground and dig out caves. You go to prison for that stuff, or at least like a $10,000 fine. Um, and having a GoFundMe to do a felony <laughs> set up so that you could commit a felony is probably not going to fly either. So if that was true, that someone is trying to collect money to come out here to dig out a cave, I'll let them know that if they do that, there's probably going to be somebody waiting here for them. Uh, to put handcuffs on them and take them off to the Kuzgao, which is just across the valley there. Prison. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Wait, look at that. A beautiful canyon. Kind of looking for more uh, pictures in Picture Canyon, but I don't see any more. That looks like a uh, giraffe. I imagine it's supposed to be, I guess, uh, some type of animal. I guess those are just, looks, maybe his legs. Yeah, it looks like muscles, legs. Could be antlers. Maybe that's a sheep or something. No. The thing is, you laugh um, about it being a giraffe, but. 10, 20,000 years ago. There were all kinds of weird animals out here, not only mammoths and mastodons, uh, rhinoceroses, there are horses, different than the horses that are here now. These are European horses. Uh, all uh, saber tooth tigers, all kinds of stuff. Saber tooth tigers, lions, saber tooth tigers. Yeah, if you want to see what it looks like up there, you're going to have to go to my uh, video series I did in the spring when I was here. That slope. Going up is really, really like treacherous because it was very slippery. That's a great cave, isn't it? That might be where uh, Kenny saw his ram. I kinda, I'm kind of thinking that might be the little, uh, not, the, the, not the gun sight, but just to the left of it. I'd look up there. Next, if I, next time I come, I'm gonna look up in that area. I'm gonna climb up there. I think it'd be worth trying anyway. Wouldn't be an easy hike to get up there. That's where he saw the sheep somewhere up in there. Might be, I don't know if it'd be any easier from the other side or from the top coming down, but I think that's where I'd look for it. I'm gonna sit here for a second, and just kind of throw the field glasses on it, see if I can see anything up there. That looks interesting. Let's go look at that real quick. What I saw was the, uh, it looked like some rocks are kind of stacked up right there. And the ceiling of that little cave area looks black, so. Probably not stacked up so much just where they fell. Well, I don't know. Something's going on in here. This has been kind of like halfway dug out, hasn't it? Look at that. I thought that might be smoke blackening, but I'm not so sure it is really. All that ochre looking stuff. So I think this has been dug out. I think it's, if it's uh, natural, I think it would be filled in more, you know, from the stream running. And there probably was a wall going across here at one time. Good. You can go going that way, can't you? I wonder what that thing is, that black thing up there. 
All right, let me look around a little bit. I'm getting low on battery again. You know, I'm charging it as we're going along. This is one of those new GoPros and the batteries really don't last very long. So give me a second, okay? Something just looked very interesting about this from the floor. Uh, I think that's been dug out too. I mean, that's where they're getting their pigment. I would think if this is natural, it wouldn't be a bowl down here like this. This is probably where the Indians over the course of centuries was mining this to get the pigment. It's one thing I can figure. Just no rattle moccasins up in there. This stuff right here. Wonder if you I'm gonna wet a little bit of that and see if it makes a mark. Hold on a second. Now, I think the Indians would have ground this up and made a fine powder and used water and not spit, but I bet you this is what they're using. Let's make a little, little doohickey right here. <laughs> Probably so. I think if you ground it up nice and made a fine paste out of it, maybe put animal fat in it. And probably paint the body with this stuff too, because that was pretty common. Right there, awesome. Glad we came up here. All right, let's keep going. If I was the artistic type, I think I would collect a little bit of that up just to make a true, you know, mixture out of it to paint some things with. I think it'd be really cool. Not really supposed to take minerals. That would be considered a mineral. But I, I think I could <laughs> squeeze a little bit of that in a small Coke bottle. Anyway, I was looking up here at the cave that we went to before. And look up there. I mean, that's a beautiful example of, of an M cave entrance. Just wanted to show that to you. I don't condone you taking the ochre, by the way, but if you do, well, I'll never tell. I saw this one here, I'm like, yeah, it looks like something I would do, old Chig. It's about the, my, my skill level. But then I looked over here, and that's a cool one right there. I don't know if that's supposed to represent the sun. Or not. I want to get a little bit closer, because... I thought that was actually pecked out, but I don't think it is. That's probably the sun, I guess. Maybe that's the moon, who knows? I promise I won't get you out every time I see one, but I just think they're really cool. Well, that's the, uh, we're at the canyon entrance already. That went a lot quicker this, <laughs> this time. Uh, I, thought, I thought it would take a lot longer. Now I'm parked like a couple, like one to two miles that direction over that kind of terrain. So it's gonna take me a while to get back, but at least we got out of the canyon. I might go back up in there and look around just a little bit more. Yeah, let's do that. It looks like I have a little bit of new stuff in my camera, so it might be worthwhile. I'll let you know if I see anything good. Otherwise, I'll sign off in a few minutes, <laughs> maybe. All right, so I'm trying to climb back up the mountain here. That's where that little mining area was. Getting really tired, I'm starting to stumble. But I wanted to tell you something. My camera, my GoPro has come on five or six times since I started this climb on its own and i'm doing nothing different than i've done the entire day i mean i have a thick battery hooked up to an external battery but i've done nothing different than i've done the entire day and it keeps coming on i keep turning it off so i don't know if that's some type of sign or not but i gotta tell you one thing Whoa. i won't be able to go much further because my legs are getting rubbery but i do want to get up to at least that uh rock face right there i want to get up to the base of that rock face at least look around a little bit I mean, it really has not come on a single time all day, and it just keeps coming on as I'm walking up. And that's interesting, isn't it? If you believe in omens, that could be one. <laughs> Good or bad, I'm not sure, but it could be one. Clean up a little bit further. I figured, you know what, if it keeps coming on, I might as well just leave it on. It's like it's trying to tell me something. I don't know if it's trying to tell me, you know, put, turn your camera on or trying to tell me, go back. But we're going to find out. Wait, let me, uh, Tell you what, I have to, ah, let me unplug this cord. External battery's actually got a pretty good charge on it right now, so we should be fine for the rest of the day. Jump in there. Wait, there we go. All right. We are not gonna go too much further. Oh, we're gonna go a little further. The whole on-off battery, the camera thing is just freaking me out, man. Man, breathing like old steam engine, aren't I? we All right, I'm gonna turn you off. <laughs> I need both hands. Okay, uh, we're up to the first gap. I didn't see anything too interesting on our way up. I'm not sure this was the gap where we saw the, the uh, 
where I am. It might have been up a little higher, but I thought we'd check this out together. We're gonna go over there too, look out that side and look around that room. But since we're, camera keeps coming on still, came on twice since I've turned it off. Oh wow, I've never seen into this canyon. more animal scat. This is not the canyon I thought would be worth searching. There's a pour off there, so you have to scramble around it, but that's a nice one too, isn't it? Wow. Um, the mine, or the uh, Kenny's mine, is like straight up over the top there, a couple miles. All right, I'm gonna sit down here a minute. To run binoculars up and down that valley, that canyon, to see if I can see anything and catch my breath. Then we'll go, ah, wow! That's up a shadow sharp. Put my hand in that, but there must be a cactus or something under it because there's all kinds of thorns in it. Wow, that's nice. Hey, let me just glass that real quick. Get the drones flying around over there. Uh, military drones. Anyway, um, I kind of looked around. I don't really see anything except there's some caves over there. And there's one cave way, way up there. Um, not there, but like right up below my finger. Just below my finger. It's really deep. I mean, you can probably see it on the camera. I'll try to zoom in on it uh, for you. But it looks like it's a fairly deep cave. Now, I'm not thinking it has anything to do with Kenny, but um, if I was a little more energetic today, <laughs> I would climb up there and look at that because that's interesting. That one there, a little bit lower, looks like it might have smoke staining on the right-hand side of that M. Looking up here, there's a pour off there that's at least 100 feet high. I don't really see any way to get around it like for a normal person you'd have to be like a you know spider monkey or something to get up around that but i'm sure some people can but nobody like me <laughs> all right let's head around the other side of this hill see what we have and then we'll head back to the truck what do you say have an adult beverage all right so we walked up through there i didn't really see anything of interest but uh, i want to get you back out as we go over to the cliff and look over the other side Trip. Yeah, I'm getting a little clumsy now. For the end of the day, I can't talk. Rattling back here, I don't know what that is. Alrighty. Oh, it's nice little uh, black. Bright too. Ooh, it's a... Oh man. Two little dig holes. It's over here so we can get out of the wind, wind for a bit. All right. Um, yeah, so we're back to um, <laughs> sure. Our truck is way, has a way around that side there. It's a good hike. It's got a good hike around the base of that mountain, but I think we got plenty of light, and if we don't, we've got a, a little bit of a moon tonight, so I won't make it bad. Here the reapers. Sit back out of the wind. Haven't been able to see them today. I flew right over my head yesterday. They were pretty close. I mean, they weren't more than probably a thousand feet up. They're still cruising around. That, man, that really is a perfect dim cave, isn't it? <laughs> Doesn't fit his description, though. Here's one of the little devils. I'll try to zoom in for you. He's a long ways away though. Could a good ways to go, yeah. It'll be dark before we get there. But you don't mind, do you? We got a little bit of moonlight tonight. Mr. Moonlight. <laughs> That's all I know. It's actually a Beatles song, but I don't even know if it goes like that. I just remember Mr. Moonlight. All right, let's see what else we can find on the way back. <laughs> I can't move. I haven't eaten since breakfast, and breakfast wasn't much. That's probably why I'm getting loopy. It's probably not the electromagnetic waves coming off of that thing. The, uh, what is that? Havana syndrome stuff, man. That's probably what it is, you know. 
probably testing that stuff out here. Just making all my stuff go crazy, making my mind go crazy, making everything just go nuts. We'll talk again soon. Well, boys, looks like I'm not going to make it before it gets dark, so you get the yellow bird. Oh, dear, Grandma. Again, this is a Caden zone. Ready? The yellow bird. The yellow bill, he landed on my windowsill. So I lured him in with a piece of bread, and then I crossed his head. <laughs> That's all. Mother Earth, you are 